we have a really cool community. Like I knew that beforehand, you, you see in the golf community, it attracts a really good group of people. I see that at Glendale Golf and Country Club where I'm a member. I see that at Avid Golf when we open our doors to customers. I see that here at the Golf Manitoba Awards event. You just have a concentrated group of awesome people. And I think that's really special. It's a group that's very passionate. It's a group that's very, uh, very well-to-do, hardworking. And it's a group of people that, you know, when you all want the same kind of thing and you're willing to work for it, whether you're the athletes or volunteers, it's special. So as a new partner with Golf Manitoba, Avid Golf and myself are just thrilled to be here. Talk about the broad player that's out there, whether they're really skilled or whether they're just learning the game. How about just the spectrum that this game brings together from juniors all the way to seniors? You're hanging out for four hours. I agree. So my bias going into this recent endeavor was specifically looking at avid golfers, diehard golfers, scratch golfers. But there's such a spectrum of different types of golfers. There's the weekend warriors. There's those that are just getting into the game and maybe want to not embarrass themselves on the tee box for their corporate event. So I think it's really cool. I think you can definitely move between classes of golfers per se. And I think in terms of growing the game, which is what Golf Manitoba talks about, it's what Avid Golf talks about, it's what we all want. I think we need to think this way, not just growing the game in terms of more events for the scratch and plus handicaps, but how do we just get more people swinging the sticks more often, and I think we're doing a lot of the right things.